Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Gamer Stuff discussion. And, uh, okay, so this actually <laughs> popped up on my feed on Twitter because of uh, some ordinary gamers, Mudahar. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. People, people can't really think that this is the case, right? They can't think that emulating video games is illegal. Because, to be honest, if it was illegal, Bleem wouldn't have won their case against Sony back in the day when it came down to running emulation on the Dreamcast of PlayStation games, of PS1 titles. Now, Sony kept suing them, which drove them out of business because they couldn't afford the legal fees but they pretty much proved that emulation is legal now how people obtain the files to emulate that's where the legal territory can be a bit iffy and gray And I think it's very ambiguous depending upon the software that is being emulated and for the reasoning. (sighs) Or at least I wish it was because legally it's pretty cut and dry. You're not supposed to get ROMs or ISOs or game files from different sites that that aren't legitimately authorized to give them to you. That's why Nintendo won the case against that ROM site because they were charging for the ROMs. Whether they were charging a monthly subscription or directly charging for them is where the legality becomes questioned. Because you, yeah, I I understand you couldn't really run the website without the money, but at the same time, you were selling it and it wasn't yours. And that's also why when Soldier Boy decided that he wanted to have game consoles and get in the gaming industry, I was one of the many people that called him out on that. I was like, nah, bro, like, there is no way you got licensing from Nintendo to allow you to have their games on that bootleg console. It just wasn't happening, and it's very easy to understand why that didn't happen. Nintendo still sells their games. Whether they sell them as often as people want is a whole different controversy, but they still sell their old games. It's a thing. But back to emulation. If it was illegal to emulate anything on any platform, then the PS2 would not be allowed to run PS1 games. Whether people realize it or not, the PS2 is emulating being a PS1. Which, you know, (laughs) is why it was able to run PlayStation games. You could make the argument about the hardware being there for it, but it still had to pretend to be a PS1 to play those PS1 games. It's the same thing for the PS3. You wouldn't be allowed to put your PS1 disc in there Or if you have an older model PS3, you wouldn't be allowed to put your PS2 disc in there and let it play if emulation was illegal. Xbox 360 wouldn't have had backwards compatibility. The Wii wouldn't have had backwards compatibility. The Wii U wouldn't have had it. The Xbox One wouldn't have had it. PS4 had it, I guess, through PS Now. And also on PC with streaming. Well, I think that would be technically different. But it also, Game Pass literally would not be allowed as a thing. Or it would take a much different form if emulation wasn't allowed. You're allowed to emulate. But, again, it comes into question how you obtain your software to be able to emulate And in some cases, emulation is the only choice you have to play certain games. Just because the the company that either owns it is defunct or they are literally not reselling it. 
So yeah, sometimes emulation is literally the only choice unless you're going to pay some secondhand seller a high price to get it. And at that point, it's, it's literally off the market. It's not a part of the, the market as it currently stands. So that would be totally separate. But, I mean, it's just, when people say stuff like that, I'm like, you don't go to jail for emulation. Emulation itself isn't illegal. How you get the ROMs is technically your big issue. Now, if you have the equipment to do it, and you can pull ROMs from your own old cartridges and stuff, cool. And with most disc-based games, you can copy it onto your PC to play. There are some special exceptions to this. Um, at least in the ability to just do it. Like I can just put the disc in and I can make a copy. You, you kind of have to bypass copy protection which, with some things which I think in and of itself is illegal. Um, that's why I say that's a whole other issue because if you have to break the code in order to make it operate, you have to crack it, then it's not a legitimate version of the game. At least that's my understanding. Now, I could be completely wrong. Someone can correct me whether they do it on Anchor or if they do it on YouTube. I can't be corrected on that. I'm not so certain. But, to be honest... Emulation, like, and, and I've done emulation for some stuff myself, mostly because it's the only option I have. Like, it, it's literally the only option I have for certain things. Like, if it's a hacked version of a game, emulation is my only option because I don't have, like, the special specific game carts to allow that to happen on actual hardware. Simple as that. Um, <clears throat> or in the case of Sega Saturn games my old Saturn is rather busted <laughs> it still works and it'll play games but it has the issue of resetting on its own unfortunately which can hamper me playing the game so like that's my reason that I I choose to emulate but then again I'm only emulating the hardware at that point because the emulator for Sega Saturn or at least the one that actually runs the games the best requires that you use your actual software on your PC in order to emulate so it's again something that people need to think about and not just say things willy nilly off the top of their heads emulation itself is not illegal it's been tried in court. It's not illegal. At all. <laughs> now, again, how you get your ROMs is with your ROMs and ISOs. That's where contention lies. And I think people need to understand that. They really, truly need to understand that. If you, if you don't get it from an official source... That's where you run into legal trouble. Like, basically, if you don't get it from the people that own it. That's where you run into trouble. It's still a legal gray area when it comes down to companies that don't exist anymore. That have, that nobody's bought the, the IPs and things or they just went under. That makes the whole different that, that's a whole different issue um, which that has yet to be talked about in court that has yet to be done in court and gone over if people are allowed to download games that no longer belong to anyone or that belong to any company um, but that's a, again that's a whole separate issue uh, I, I really wouldn't know where to go with that one but I think for the most part I've said what I needed to say and uh, I think I, I've covered it as intelligently as I can. So, um, yeah. 
Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games and peace out, everybody.